Hey everybody, and welcome to something a little bit different. I am, as always, Northern Lion. I'm here with a good friend of mine, J Smith OTI. Hey, how's it going? Hereafter referred to as Josh, probably, because that's your human name. Yeah, that, I, I, that is the name that my mother and father have given me. And you I know if it was like, if, if it, your mom wanted that one, or if it was like a, like a uh, collaborative I think, uh, decision? No, I think my dad, I think my parents decided if it's a dude, my dad's going to name it. If it's a chick, my mom would name it. But ah, okay. my mom's over too. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're playing a little Orcs Must Die to co-op here because I did my let's look at of this uh, a little bit earlier last week, and I lamented the fact. I mean, I said it was a great game, but I lamented the fact that I didn't get a chance to show off the co-op because it doesn't have any like drop in, drop out, or matchmaking or anything like that. Josh is in the chat, <laughs> and now we will have a chance. <laughs> now we will have a chance to uh, yeah, actually try out some of this co-op. I mean, me, him and I have actually played a little bit yesterday. The recording session didn't necessarily go as well as it could have. But we're here to, uh, with a little bit of aptitude, I guess now, a little bit of skill, and we're going to try some of this stuff out. Right, exactly. And so yesterday I had literally no idea what I was doing whatsoever. So hopefully today I, uh, I have a little bit of, you know, just ability to play the game well. So I right, guess I so should ready up. Yeah, we're going to start on this, like, the level that we... After the one that we beat yesterday. Okay. So this should be the hardest level that we've played so far. I got last. You got last? Oh, you did get last. Unless you get me before it. No, nah, it's all good, man. You didn't. Oh, okay. So I have six slots now. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on here. So you're playing as the sorceress. Correct. I'm playing as the war mage here. And for traps, uh, I, I want more slots. <laughs> should I get the spike trap or the barricade? I'm thinking barricade. Yeah, I, I can get a spike trap, but I don't think we even want it that much. Alright, I have ice vent, acid sprayer, steam trap, pounder, and the barricade. Okay, Wait that's good. Uh, I'm just trying to see like where are they going to come out. So they're going to try to go here, but are they coming out of here first? How are these guys doing this? Like, they're going to fly jumping. over here? Yeah, yeah, they're going to fly. I've never Do seen this before. See? What, about, what about this one over here, though? Upcoming enemies. Oh, there's a shit ton of them, man. Well, okay. How about you handle the flying situation? I'll, I think maybe... Yeah, press B. There's only... There's a bile bat. There's the only ones who fly. Okay, so the bile bats are going to come out of there then. Yes, I imagine. Uh, I'm going to... Here's what I'm going to do. Tell me if you, if you like what I'm selling here. I don't. I'm going to put some spring traps, like, right here. Okay. So, I mean, you can't really see what's going on, but... No. When the enemies walk over these spring traps, they will get, like flung off of the edge here. Having a pounder in this level isn't going to help us at all. Just because right, there's probably no, not. Yeah, the, you, it doesn't go down that far. So, instead of okay. having a pounder, I will get the acid spikes. Or the acid trap. Or spike trap. I'm stupid. Okay, uh, I'm good. This I have an going. idea. If you come down here... I don't know where you're at. Yeah, sometimes it gets a little bit hard on this map to figure out where... Okay, do you have money? Yeah, I have all money. I haven't spent anything okay. yet. Okay. Yeah, make some barricades. Yes. So you can see these are my spring traps right here. I was thinking to make like barricade here and like barricade here. Just to keep them along the uh, the line? Yeah, and then so they'll, they'll like get hit by the arrow trap. Then they'll walk around here. Herp to drip. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God, right. I almost jumped off. Oh, that wouldn't be good. Yeah. If okay. I put a thing here, right. they would stay there longer. I agree. I think I think that's a smart decision as well. There's All still right. a chance that they can come around here, but we can take care of that. Right. All right, I'm out of money. All right, I'm. Yeah, I same. didn't lay down any traps. Let's do it. Okay. I laid down some traps. Good. You can hit G. Uh, I'll watch the bile bats over here if you want. I can. Okay, I you, just you watch don't know the bile where bats coming from. Hopefully, it's just bile bats coming from that. Right. It seems to be. Yeah, there's. Yeah, there's a lot bats. more dudes coming this way. Okay. So yeah, you just handle those for now. We'll see how this this situation works for us. I'm gonna try to rack up some sick combos so we can get more skulls and currency. The other gotcha. thing is this keeps them on the mine track. Mine cart track, so... Mine cart mania. Exactly. They continue to be hit over and over. Oh, he's gonna walk... Oh, he almost walked on the springs. Yeah, you know, no worries. Yeah, so so far nobody has walked on the springs. That's not good. Yeah, it kind of makes it seem like a waste of money so far, but... <laughs> well, we could always sell it if it, no one uses it. True. We can't, uh, yeah, but I guess they're choosing to just walk along the, the minecart track, which is fine as well. Mm -hmm. So we have the tiny little gremlin dudes. Uh, there, there's one that used it. There's what? I saw a guy get launched off. Oh, cool. So yeah, it's not completely useless. I mean, if they want to walk up the track, that's fine with me. 
Right. Okay, so now we got a, a, a whole new rift is opening down here. The, we got like the same the, thing. The, opening yeah, up yeah, the over vile here. bat thing. Okay, so guy. we'll do this. Um, I'll just set up some fucking arrow traps over here. Uh, I guess I yeah here. Right. And then yeah, I don't know. Whatever, you, whatever you want to do. I'll take care of the vile bats for now. I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, I just lay a spike trap, I guess. Yeah, we probably should have saved a little bit of money, but it's not so bad. Right. Unless they get totally through, in which case it's sort of bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah, it's still I'm... a very early wave. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a skull up there. Shoddy. Oh, there's a bunch of bile bats. Oh, yeah. I remember when I said I would take care of those. Yeah, no worries. I'll make them attack each other. That's a good idea. If you're not familiar, if you, maybe you haven't seen the... Uh, Let's look at it, I did. The Sorceress has the ability with her secondary to actually... Um, I'm talking to the audience, not to you. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I figured. I mean, I <laughs> Her understand. secondary <laughs> ability uh, has the ability... What the heck? Where are these guys going? They're going downtown. Oh, there's Bile Bats above me. That's what's going on. Um, secondary ability with her weapon has the ability to uh, charm enemies and make them attack each other, which is really useful. Super useful. Yeah. It's pretty damn useful. Right. Useful level is off the charts. I would say it's at least like a 9.5 out of 13 on usefulness. That's pretty good. I mean, I'll take a 9.5 out of 13. Why, why don't people use the, the out of 13 scale anymore? I don't know. It's such a it's a tried and true method. <laughs> Fe fell just... in favor in the early 80s. Right. Just, <laughs> uh, I don't even know. I was just going to try to say something about like a popular person. It just didn't work out. Anyways. <laughs> so there's only they're only coming from this direction, right? Yeah. Okay. For now. For now. That could change. Yes, later we will probably have to, um... Figure you know, something out. Maybe one of us will take the right side, one of us will take the left side. Mm -hmm. Certainly this is going better than... Like our first runs yesterday, where we... Right. Like in that first one where, like, you only took one item and then you couldn't... Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I took an ice trap and I didn't yeah, so... take my main weapon. And so, yeah, so, you, like, couldn't cancel your ice trap, so you were just stuck in ice trap the whole time? Exactly. Yeah, you, as soon as you're done buying and you start the first re uh, the first wave, you can't go back and buy any more items. So, if you don't, yeah. if you didn't fill all your slots, you're just not going to be able to fill it throughout the game. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to this side. Okay. And I think maybe... I, I, I kind of get what is going on in this, in this level okay. now. I'm going to give you another arrow trap over here, though, because you never know okay. what you might face. And I'm also going to toss down maybe some, like, I don't know. Where are they coming from? They're coming from my side, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, maybe you can come down here, I guess. Maybe they're right, not coming Right, yeah, from no both. one's coming from my side either. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep an eye on them. Oh, now they are. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So this game is unique. I haven't played too many tower defense games, and especially not a tower defense game that's an action game as well. Yeah, well, consider yourself lucky on the not playing too many tower defense games. Right. So, At least in my, I shouldn't impart my beliefs like that, but that's how I feel about a lot of tower defense games. Yeah, I, I think a lot of the time they're pretty much if you played one, you played them all. Right. But having this kind of action-oriented side of it, it just kind of gives it a new dimension of depth. So what I mean by that is I could pretty much play this game as a typical tower defense game and set up a bunch of barriers and traps and stuff, or I could just kind of go all willy-nilly like and pretty much do. I could, I think I could still do pretty well. But so it's not like too like much in depth because I feel you have you kind of control your own destiny. Yeah, absolutely. Orcs Must Die is a pretty solid franchise. I feel at this point, mm -hmm. it's like this and Dungeon Defenders both doing like the same thing. Right. I prefer Orcs Must Die. I feel like the the traps are just a little bit more satisfying. Mm -hmm. The physics I, I like more. Oh man, do you have an ogre on your side? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead? Yeah. Jeez, what'd you do to him? I made him my bitch. Oh, you no, charmed him? I, I, yeah, I charmed him. <laughs> yeah, it's a good idea. Nice. Okay, so now we have a chance to set up some more traps. Okay. Whoa, almost fell off the cliff. Not that it I could, guess it doesn't matter. Could you maybe put, like, another barricade on my side? Yeah, I could put all the barricades on your side. I was thinking, um, maybe it doesn't even matter that much. It might matter. Actually, you know what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want to help you out. Well, I'm going to put some more spring traps like this. Okay. Because they were, when they come through, they're like, herp de derp de derp and then they either walk like around the spring trap, or they walk on the minecart track. They right. want to walk on the track, that's fine by me. Do you want me to put a bear, I could put a barricade here. 
Where? And so if they like right here, and so if they walk up, then you know maybe they'll go more towards the strap. Never. Mind. I, I can't it see doesn't... the outline of where you're laying it though. Oh, oh, okay. Nah, don't worry about it. All right, it's fine. Cool. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um. Do you do you need anything else on your side right now? I I have no idea. My <laughs> side is just a big cluster fuck of everything. <laughs> okay. Is there I anything think we can do to like automate taking out these uh, bile bats? Not really. I'm just gonna put like one arrow trap like right there, so maybe if they come through. Also notice like closer to the exit, there's these like rock traps that we can shoot if any if like a, a horde gets down there. Okay. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think this is okay for now. Sure, I'm good. I pressed G, I think. Yeah, you did. Let's do it up. Okay, so we got some bile bats. I was trying to take down the ones on your side for some reason. Oh, you can think, do whatever you want. On my side, oh god, we got an ogre. The ogres don't get killed by the fucking um, uh, spring traps. It's a pain oh. in the ass. Do I have an ogre? Yeah, I do. Oh, they have a bunch of ogres. Yeah, I got two as well. Oh, they stun you. They stun you. Let's pop down. Oh, I don't have enough money for an arrow trap. Big mistake. Uh-oh. No, we're going to be all right here. Right. I'm just charming all mine. That's a good idea. I feel like the for the War Mage, like the class I'm playing as, there's weapons that do more damage, but I like the the uh, combo potential from the grenade launcher. Cause the you wombo just, like, combo. Oh, there's bile bats above me. The arrow trap did nothing. The goggles. They do so nothing. I, I can probably get rid of that now, I guess. Sell it. Sell it. Sell what? I guess I can't. I'm, I'm trying to sell my own nonsense here. Okay. You got some earthlings on your side? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> oh my god, there's too many ogres. Yeah, I got ogres and I got crossbow dudes. Oh man. And he stunned me and he beat me with his bat. Yeah, that's a pain in the ass. Oh yeah. It's a pain in my head, actually. Yeah, it's a pain wherever he hits you. I think that's mm. kind of the point. It looks uh -oh. like there's some, like, if you look at the yellow dots on your map, those are like coins. Really? So I think those are extra currency that you can use. Okay, I might have if, to use that sometime. If you're interested. I'm, just, I'm certainly interested in, in that. the idea of getting extra currency. All right, that was all right. I can't, I could run over top of them, but I can't gather them. Oh, maybe oh. I did, I don't know. All right, so I think we're okay here. I'm not sure how well my spring, spring traps are doing. I've been like embroiled in combat the whole time. Right. So I, I can't even watch like my trap situation down here, but the fact that I'm able to deal with the enemies that are coming down makes me think that maybe the traps are working okay. Sure. Yeah, okay, it just killed killed an ogre like solo, so. That's pretty impressive. It's not that impressive. Don't you don't have to patronize me. No, I'm just I'm It's right. okay, I mean you don't have to patronize me. Uh, I'm you gonna patronize the... you to the day of your death. <laughs> Do you have the minecart on your side or is it only going to my side? It's only going to your side. Alright. If you need it, let me know and I can hit that switcher. Wait, you can push the you can make the minecart track go on my side? Yeah, I think so. Really? There is no minecart track on my side. Oh, well, yeah, there is. No. I can see, like, the green track on the map. That's not going to me. That's, like, um, around the corner, not, like, uh, right <laughs> where yours is. All right, well, if it's, if it's not going to be helpful to you, then... Right, exactly, it. yeah. One way or another, it just doesn't... It's not going to affect. Got dub ogres trying to work their way into my base here. I don't think so, buddy. I got a ton of people here. <laughs> But I'm just keeping going on with, uh, I just lay down all kinds of traps just everywhere. Right. Well, I guess the orcs, um, drop the coins every time they're killed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She Ogre hit me. It's all good. Here come some grenades. There's help. Yeah. I'm gonna go back. Oh, thanks, up... Brody. No, no problem. I think you got it under control now. I wasn't looking for these bats. Yeah, uh, I keep checking the map repeatedly. Okay. Because that's really the only way I can tell if they're actually coming. Right, yeah. I just neglected to look. My bad. It's all good. Where am I going to... I think we got this pretty much in the bag. I agree. So far, it's been pretty solid. I mean, we only have 30 that we can let in, but, I mean, 30 is kind of a lot. 30 is a lot. Don't worry, I got this. I know you do. Trick! I mean, for, we, we covered... The, oh, there's bats now. Okay. The trick that we we talked about in the last episode, which is now not going to appear, um, is that you you want to try to if you can survive, you want to try to get orcs all killed at once. 
so that you can get sick combo ratings and thus improve your uh, your leaderboard position. Right, I'm so still game, kind of fuzzy on all the combos and how they work and everything. Yeah, but. same here. I am also pretty foggy on the combo system, <laughs> but... Uh, I do know that killing orcs at once, like a lot of them at once, is, is beneficial for you, definitely. Right. Which is why you kind of want to set up traps that like push orcs, orcs into a choke point so that you can take them out as easily as possible. Mm-hmm. And, as, oh man, that's, I like that freeze-steam combo. I do it. <laughs> yeah, my whole, this whole kind of side is just traps everywhere. I'm getting hit. I'm gonna hit. It's all oh good. gosh. Yeah, just, just back up for a second. I'm gonna switch. Uh, no, you got the track coming to your side. I'm going back to my side briefly. Right. See what's going on over here. Seems solid. I think my my side is fine for traps, so maybe I can come over there. You know, maybe you can help a brother out. <laughs> just make it, it's a team game, you know. Exactly. And even though I'm better, like sometimes it just needs to Okay, so now we'll, we'll probably have like all the last waves coming at once. You should take the money. Okay. And I will maybe drop some extra traps on your side somehow to help you out. Oh, I can drop some brimstone traps for sure. Yeah, you do have a ton of traps. Right. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just lay them all anywhere. It doesn't matter. Okay. There's no There's rhyme no... nor reason to any of this. <laughs> so it should get them on fire a little bit before they come through here. Good lord. You, yeah. you have a you have an um, like a chessboard <laughs> of disaster here. Yeah, I do. Uh, I can't even fit a spike trap there or a spring trap. I'd love to, but well, do you want me to sell something? Yeah, actually, that would probably be for the best. Sell like um, I don't know, maybe like this, these this two right here, like the the steam freeze right here, and then I can put some spring traps like oh. this. I like that. Yeah, so these, when they come down here, they're just gonna fly off the edge. That's badass. All it's right. relatively badass, I guess. It's full throttle badass for me. Full throttle badass, okay. Yeah. I'm ready. That should be ready. a movie. Full th it is a movie. Yeah, but it's not full throttled. Pride and Prejudice, full throttle badass. I would watch it. Starring Jonah Hill and Sylvester Stallone. That'd be, yeah, I'd still watch it. Yeah, definitely. Sure, why not? Uh, you ready? Yeah, we're ready, let's do uh, it. Good to go. My side feels so, like, trap bereft compared to yours. Alright, so we do have bats here. I do have a lot of traps. You have, you have a ton of traps. Well, I need the traps. I agree. I, I can't even front on your, your trap necessity here. Right. Like, the, the orcs aren't even getting through my side. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. Now they might be a little bit... No, nope. well, I think so your dude's more powerful, and so, like, I have to, like, rely on these kind of traps to help me out. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You know? It's possible. It's, that's just my guess. I've never looked at the tier list for the Orcs Must Die 2 characters. We should have we should have took a gander at that before we started. Yeah. But oh well. I'm digging the co-op in this game. Uh, definitely adds something. I mean, as we talked about yesterday, or as I mentioned yesterday, compared to single player, this is a lot harder. Like, well, the enemies that they send at you are a lot harder, so it's not just like if you have co-op, you're automatically going to be in the clear because you're going to be doing the same levels as single player. Right. Uh, but, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm digging the co-op in this so far. Definitely makes it, I think, I, I already would have considered it probably a, a worthwhile purchase, even just for the single player. But for multiplayer, this seems like definitely one of the the best indie titles of the year. Yeah, you've certainly. you've got people that you can play it with because there is no, like, quick match or anything. I would agree with that. I think co-op always has, a, you know, a better impact on the game and, like, how much it's worth. You know, as long as you have like a bro to play it with, you know, if a game has co-op, it's bound yeah, I mean, it to be definitely a little bit made better. Political Machine better. Yeah, certainly. I can't believe. Yeah, so Political Machine was a game that was just really slow, <laughs> kind of on single player, and there wasn't much to do. Although the single player did have the ability to have the custom characters. Right, which was kind of half of the draw for me. Right, exactly. But you can't use them in uh, co-op or the against each other in multiplayer, which is kind of silly. right. Wasn't digging on that too much, but still, still, it was it was more fun co-op. I think that's just because uh, we're we're just too much of a good friend combination. We're, we're a nice combo. We're like uh, peanut butter and pregnancy. That is, the, <laughs> that's your uh, good combo. Then yeah, sure, man. Yeah, I mean, ask the CEO a GIF if that's a good combo. Choosy moms choose GIF. That's true. Oh, I fell off the cliff. 
Oh no, that means we... I think that means we get some orcs that, like, count as going through. Really? Yeah, so now we're down to, like, 27 instead of 30. That sucks, I'm sorry. Way to go, man. Just cost us our chance at five stars. I know. I'm a terrible, terrible man. Five skulls, whatever. Well, they should really, you know, put some ropes, ledges, or something that you have I don't a point. The, the, the safety commander is, is not doing his job here. Correct. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, I guess, like, get a levitation spell or something. I could try. I mean, I can't do it right now. You can't buy spells after it. True. Uh, actually, I might take a look at my spell book after this as well, because I'm... I think I have like 12 skulls or something. That's pretty good. It's enough you to buy maybe buy another... Oh, we have one more. I thought that was the end. You always think it's the end, man. I know. I always... I, I get it a little too soon. It happens to me too. <laughs> it happens to lots of guys. Uh, yeah, I know. Just shouldn't. Maybe there's a chance like... Yeah, let me put some spring traps down here. Okay. Hopefully that actually causes them to fall in the pit and not just onto my side, like right next to the exit. It'd be kind of great if they did, though. I mean, yeah. Lap. I mean, it would be great for them. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, what's on the opposite side of these portals where they're like, oh, man, okay, 30 orcs is too many, but we can definitely handle, like, six. Maybe it's, you know, their their factory where they're made. The and orc so, factory? So, you know, that you, can't, you can't just, like, make them all. Or, they, you know, they, they make up certain builds, and then it takes a while for them all to, you know, gather, and then they start sending them all through. All right. Okay. That's just my, I mean, I completely understand, like, your your plight with the world in that regard. <laughs> but I have no idea. Can't answer that question die, for you. Actually. But it seems that there's a lot, and they're all pissed. The orcs are pissed is, the, like, the secondary tie. Oh, I fell off the cliff. <laughs> uh, oh, so how the mighty have fallen off yeah, the cliff. and then respawned somewhere. Right. It takes me so long to get my bearings going in this, because I'm like, what the, f where the fuck am I? Yeah, the maps are kind of hard to follow. Oh, do you know there's extra lava things up here, too? Yes, but they never have got that far for me. Yeah, they, they haven't come in handy that much. That one episode that we, or the one level yeah. that we played yesterday, those were lifesavers. They, they did save our lives. Plenty of times, too. You know what didn't save our lives? D debilitating audio issues. Yes, that was the worst thing. <laughs> so the story is, yeah, we Josh and I recorded like two hours of Orcs Must Die. And then immediately after, we're like, hey, did we set up our audio right so that right. It, uh, Fraps doesn't record Skype? Answer, no, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and so we had like this kind of like robot track in the background. Oh, man. Yeah, three, three skulls, that sucks. I thought we did way better than that. I know, oh well. Well, let's check out the spell book. I have 24 I, skulls. I got a boulder shoot that I could buy. Boulder shoot sounds pretty good. Yeah, it falls, it makes boulders fall from the sky. I'm gonna see, sky let's look at some expensive traps here. I have 24. Yeah, me too. Wall, Wall blades. blades. <laughs> 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 I love how like we we both got to that conclusion because we've scrolled down and yeah. that was the most expensive one that we could buy. Yeah. 15 Whoa. spore mushrooms converts the first enemy that it steps on. I have that in my spell anyways. Yeah, I was going to say, you don't really need that. Right. And I don't really need that if I'm going to play with you anyway. Sure. Swing Mace is constantly in motion. I might do that. I might take Grinder. Sucks in enemies that gets too close, runs constantly until it jams. Oh. Sounds interesting. Sure. So maybe we'll try purchasing that. Maybe we'll purchase a weapon, too. There's a Paladin Guardian. I might want him. What about this Bone Amulet? Primary, bones of dead orcs explode from the ground, doing damage. Secondary, summons bone golem. Could be okay. Alright. This one's called the Floor Scorcher. Flips oh, yeah, and burns I saw that groups one of enemies. I'm getting it. Alright, you're going to get the Floor Scorcher? Yeah, I got it. I oh, wait, dude, you can upgrade amulet. these. Oh, yeah, you can upgrade as well. I had no idea. Actually, yeah, maybe let's go back and upgrade some of those traps I use all the time. Right. Yeah, how about this? Arrow walls can now be placed on ceiling? Uh, I don't know. So when you click refund skulls, does that refund all your skulls? Yeah, I think so. Every single one of them? I believe so, yes. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It is neat, right? Uh, all your equipment upgrades will be reset. You refund all your skulls. It's not reversible. I don't get it. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get arrows sometimes set enemies on fire. 
And then maybe, oh, I can't buy the bone amulet. And whatever. I'm done. Acid sprayer. Purchase. Okay, upgrade my acid sprayer. Okay, and continue. Escape, ready, good to go. 